welcome to tuafco.com so this is the new series of tuafco.com that is called get set embedded so the we- name of this video is arduino tutorial hashtag two hope you have watched the previous video that is arduino tutorial hashtag one in which we have talked about what is microcontroller which microcontroller does our arduino board contains and many more things so in this video we are going to talk about how to read data sheets so data sheets are very important element if you are entering into embedded domain you need to understand various architectures and you need to read various data sheets so further in this series we are also going to talk about architecture that is avr architecture that is used in our arduino you know board so please subscribe to our channel because it may help you in a long run so let's talk about the agenda of this video we are going to talk about these two points number one which data sheet we will use for our Arduino Uno board and number two how to read data sheet before talking about these two points it is very important to talk about what is data sheet so according to Wikipedia a data sheet or a spec sheet is a document that summarizes the performance of other characteristics of product machine components in component i mean electronic components materials subsystems or software in sufficient detail that allow a buyer to understand what a product is and a design engineer to understand the role of components in overall system so this definition may look a lot bookish shall a data sheet is like a summary sheet where you contain various information uh, with respect to various characteristics uh, and in this case our data sheet would be a data sheet of a microcontroller where it will contain the information about the basic things like what are the pin mappings of a microcontroller how it is taking input and output how you can connect to various different type of peripherals how you can set the timing parameters in your microcontroller and many more things and we'll, we'll see that we'll see that further in this video only so now let's talk about which data sheet we'll use for our arduino uno board if you have watched the previous video then you must be knowing that arduino uno contain 8 mega 328p board so we have downloaded this this data sheet of 8 mega 328p so this is our data sheet and it's a 294 page diagram and how to download it you can watch in the previous video i'll put the link card up there and maybe in the description box for you to watch that video so as you can see the very first page of data sheet it contains all the basic features that your microcontroller has so as you can see at mega 328p is a 8-bit microcontroller with 32k byte in system programmable flash so we'll talk about all these things like isp that is in system programmable flash and other things so as you we move further in this series but before that we need in this video our motive is to see how you can read the data sheet because this 294 pages document is hard to read if you don't know how exactly to read it so the first page always contain the most important things that is your features so in this you will find uh, information about various features like your um, at mega 328p is a avr architecture board and it's a 8-bit microcontroller board and it is based on risk architecture so we'll talk about risk and sysc further because i don't want to make this video too long for you and uh, that's why we'll talk about later so let's concentrate on this video only so then you can see it has a non-volatile memory segment and then you can get the peripheral features so as i've told you it will tell you the characteristics the peripherals so this contains two 8-bit timers and counters and one 16-bit timers and counters information would be useful for us you'll see in the later videos of this series for sure so it has 6 pwm channel it has 8 10 bit adc channel and a programmable series usard 
and a master slave SPI serial interface and a programmable watchdog timer and it has interrupt and wake up on pin change and various other things so this is about the first page now go to the index on the side or maybe bookmarks so here you can see that the very first chapter is about pin configuration so in pin configuration you will get to know the pin mappings so as you have seen in the previous video that how you will map the outer pins that of arduino you know like d1 to d13 and a0 to a5 to the internal pins those are these that is your pd1 pd2 so basically there are three ports here that is c because you can see pc0 to pc7 and then you have this pd so c d yeah b c d as you can see here so there are three ports so this is actually your pin interface of your microcontroller so then you will see that you will find various overviews about the block diagrams how things are working how data is retention retention so if you want to know the internals then reading these things are very important like here you can see you will find that there are three ports that is port b port c and port d and you will find about various different pins that your it may uh, that your arduino you know contain but uh, if you want to know about like avr cpu cores avr memories that all you can find in the overviews but if you want to program something specific then you need to go to the specific chapter so for example you want to do a blinking led thing and you want to give input through a button so that you can do with this 13th number chapter that is called io port so this chapter will tell you how exactly the input is taken from and how exactly the output is shown and if you want to give the delay like you want to make a blinking led then for sure you need to give a delay and for the delay you need a timer so that you can find in the chapter 14 and if you wanted to give some interrupts then you can always go to chapter 11 directly so data sheet isn't about reading it whole as a book it's about the goosebumps that we used to read when we were small because as you remember if you read those goosebumps you always get on the footnotes and uh, about which page you need to read next so you always don't read it from page one to the last page of the book but you read it as and when you are required to read something like you're making a only an input output thing then you need to read only this chapter but if you're making an interrupt based thing then you need to read the chapter based on interrupt so now we are going to talk so since we have talked about which data sheet we'll use in our arduino you know board and how to read data sheet at the end all i wanted to say is never stop learning because life never stops teaching so keep learning friends and if you like this video then don't forget to share in the comment box how much you liked it and what are the improvements that you want from us and please like share and subscribe because this is the motivation that will keep us going and this is the motivation that will help you in learning great things every day so good luck happy learning